Hi everyone, this is Tim with Discovering the High Life, and uh, in this video, we're just going to uh, fly around the DJI Avada, just a little bit more practice. I've been practicing in manual mode on the simulator, not quite ready to do that yet in real life, so we'll stick to normal mode and sport mode today. But um, it's a nice day, um, kind of overcast, so I just want to show you some fall colors while we still got them. And um, I'm here in a little park, in my local park, where I can kind of sit down and I'm away from everybody and uh we'll just kind of see what we can get one thing i really like about this system though um it's great if you're trying to get started in fpv it's super easy i mean i'm gonna get this thing fired up in no time the only thing i gotta do once i start it up is uh i'm going to have to format the card because i didn't do that so make sure i take my hat off for now make sure that you all can see me my screen timed out here oh my gosh there we go make sure you all can see me still so what I'll try to do is I'll just try to sit this way here while I fly the drone and uh, yeah just trying to do this without minute with minimal editing so you guys can just see what's going on so really I mean all I got to do to set that up double press to turn on my goggles double press to turn on my remote and double press on the battery drone to get that going all right now I'm gonna have to go here quickly and format the card format aircraft SD card confirming maybe I should record the goggles sometime to show you guys what's going on inside the goggles leave a comment uh, leave a comment uh, below if you'd like to see um, what I'm seeing inside the goggles versus what what the drone is seeing okay so I've gone through and I've successfully formatted the card confirm that it's formatting well I guess I clicked I guess I accidentally formatted it twice it says it's formatting again okay okay um, so now we can pretty much just uh, go back um, you guys are still seeing me let me tap the back of the screen here yeah you guys are still seeing me and you're also seeing my microphone Okay. Let's just try and take it off right here. Touch the glass, we don't want to touch the glass. Probably not the best way to launch it, but anyway, that worked out. And I'm gonna count myself down so I can try to sync up these videos in three, two, one, recording. So I'm gonna try to face this way so you guys can hear me better. But well, first, I guess we'll just put it up quickly so you guys can see the fall colors. Now, you're not going to see uh, any uh, stabilization. Well, actually, I have the stabilization turned off right now. But probably what I'll do before I post it is I'll run it through uh, the GyroFlow program to give it some stabilization. So, yeah, look at that. This is, uh, you know, beginning of November. Still got some nice fall colors here. Um... Kind of go check out the lake here. Actually, we're not going to make it all the way down to the lake. This is the Sammamish River. Um, leads down to Lake Sammamish. Oh, wow. So it said my stream is actually getting weak down here. 
not my RC stream. Just my just my video stream coming back is getting weak. So maybe I'll just turn it around and come back. But yeah, we're just gonna and I can roll the camera here a little bit. Just up and down on the gimbal pitch. It's pretty cool. I'm just gonna kinda go through here slow just to show some colors. faster so this is in normal mode right now and it says I'm going about actually I don't even see my speed Hmm. Yeah, I don't see my speed, but obviously I'm not going super fast. I'm not going to cross over the traffic, but we can kind of come back. Let's stop for a second, regroup, and just kind of slowly go through these trees. This is one thing that I really like about this drone is, um, you know, I would never try this with one of my uh, bigger camera drones like the Mavic. Uh, Pro series or anything like that. I mean, if you even just clip one of these branches slightly with the drone like that, it's likely to go down and cause damage. Like, look, I can kind of brush through these a little bit. It's really not going to do much. I mean, I don't want to knock it down over here. I have had it get knocked down. Um, oops, see there, I brushed past the branch. But I have had it get knocked down before and then I have to go chasing after it. I actually have a video that I'm working on now where I crashed in it in a tree right into the oops it's just hitting a branch. I can handle that. Or not. Oh boy. How do I get that leaf off my tree? Off my camera? Looks like I crashed. Okay. Huh. Whoa. I didn't crash, but somehow I have a leaf <laughs> stuck on the lens. Oh my gosh, how do I get that off? Look at that. I'm not. Oh, there we go. Look. Ha. Get off of there. This is crazy, guys. I wish this would just leave me alone. Okay, I know where I'm at. Can I, can I make it back to myself with a leaf obstructing my view? Oh my goodness. What if I fly really high? Nope. See? <laughs> well guys, I can see myself. This is insane. See that little statue towards the bottom? That's me. Oh my gosh, I can hear myself now. Yep, I see it. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm going to land it so you guys can see this. <laughs> First of all, let's see if we see any damage. That's what was blocking our view. And I mean, and now it's just resting on there. But the way the fans were, it was just sucking it in. 
It's, it's crazy. So, anyway, yeah, there you go. I don't even see any damage to it. I did get a little notification that said impact detected. I can see a little bit of dust down in there, but I mean, the, the, the props, the propellers look great. Um, the uh, UV filter is still intact. Let's try it again. That was insane. All right. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this video. And um, make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and let me know if you want to see more of these uh, FPV videos. And follow along on my journey because uh, I, I love drones, and this was something that seemed really impossible for me to do. But um, hey, I'm learning, so come along and uh, follow along with us. Thanks. See you on the next video. Bye.